and we're live. Hey, all right, it's Hoagie Wing coming to you live from Hoagie's basement, and uh, I'm sitting behind my drum set here. And I want to talk about uh, today. We're talking about reggae music and the different drum beats that distinguish that. Uh, it started, the style started in the late 60s in, on the island of Jamaica. And uh, a, a regular drum beat in rock and roll has a snare drum and it has the uh, bass drum beat on beat one. So you usually get it. This is a standard drum beat, rock and roll drum beat. Or something maybe. So the, uh, there's always that emphasis on beat one. Now the guys in reggae, uh, they took the snare drum and they would turn the snares off and uh, get that sort of timbali-like sound, which is a uh, Latin instrument. And then they would also uh, take their stick, and if you turn the stick this way and you hold the stick like this, it's called a rim knock. And it gets a real woody type of sound. And that's the kind of sound sources that they would do. And the uh, beat, one of the beats that was started by Carlton Barrett, uh, the drummer for Bob Marley and the Whalers at the time, uh, was a beat called the One Drop. And uh, it, the, the, uh, it was a, it's a little bit of a confusing name because the, uh, it means that it's dropping only one bass, drum, and rim knock uh, during the whole beat. So it sounds like this. But the uh, dropped uh, rim knock and bass drum beat is on beat three. So not the rock and roll, but more like a Sometimes uh, at slower tempos, they would sometimes swing it a little bit and dot the hi hat and get something like this: one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two. A three. And that is the one drop. <laughs> 